Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to some Brotato. This is a game that I've been wanting to do on the channel for a while. I did briefly cover when the game first came out, but it's had a new big DLC over the past few weeks. So I thought, why not jump in and give it a go, see if you guys enjoy it. And if you do, then we can keep doing it a little more often. I think it would be quite fun. Um, I've been playing around with some of the mods as well. There's some interesting ones out there. I think the one that I have on at the minute, I've been trying the auto battler. The game basically just plays itself and then you can just kind of like chill and watch something on your other monitor. It's a really cool way to play the game actually, but obviously we're not going to play that for this video here. We're going to jump into a regular run and we're going to try out one of the new characters. Uh, one that I thought sounded really interesting is the creature. Um, weapon damage scales with a curse, which is a new stat. Uh, and we start with a cursed fish hook. Uh, plus one curse on level up and minus five XP at the end of the wave and minus ten rage. Pretty interesting. Um, I think we're going to go with a gun of some sort to start with here. Maybe we'll go with the shredder. I do quite like the shredder. And we're going to go difficulty two. I like the new enemies and elites, um, but it gets a little hard later on. So we'll start with level two. And just see how we go here. So, good old Protator. For those of you that haven't seen it, it's very much like Vampire Survivor style thing. As in, it's a survival horde based bullet heaven as they call them. Really cool game. And this uh, this is on the new mode. So, the DLC added like a, a new version of the game to play that has all new enemies and a new sort of layout and stuff. Which I think is pretty cool. Along with some new characters and stuff as well here. So, uh, we'll probably go with some range to start with considering we're going to be losing range. And we'll take a shredder which is the weapon we just got. There's going to be a chance to explode on hitting enemy. And we'll take a scared sausage as well, which this is going to allow us to um, gain burning on enemies. So if we take a look here at our fish hook, locked items have a 28% chance to become cursed when leaving the shop. So if we lock an item, basically, for example, this one here, we can lock it. And that means it'll stay there um, when we come back to the shop. And there's a 28% chance that it becomes cursed. And cursed items increase the likelihood of cursed enemies which have higher HP and drop more materials but also they have bonus stats to them so that's a cursed enemy right there but they do get bonus stats to them which is of course really really useful um because as we saw with the hook it said 20% but we had a cursed version which was for 28% which means that you can get some pretty crazy stats and some things here I'm a little wary of uh, our amount of range and XP so we did actually get a curse version of that, so that went from 20% pickup range and one knockback up to 36 and 2, and it gives us plus one curse. And I guess I'll lock in the shredder and try and, um, I'll lock that in as well. Lock in the shredder and try and get that as a cursed version as well and see the increased damage that that deals. But yeah, if you guys want to see uh, a little bit more Brotato on the channel, I'd definitely be down to do more of it. Um... I'm probably not going to be the best at it here, just because it's been a while since I've played the game properly. Um, but we'll, we'll try our hand at, at having a decent run here. There is also a mode you can enable where you actually have to aim to shoot. I do quite like playing that mode as well, but I think for a fair showcase, it's better if we just have the game do the aiming for us as it does by default. That minus 10 range is going to get pretty difficult. Um, I'm going to stick with range damage here. Um, we got another pickup radius one. Okay, so it didn't actually give us 20 to 30. It gave us 6 extra percent, which isn't crazy, but the knockback is very nice. I'm going to lock that in again. Um, I'll take that. And I'll take that. And then we'll take a look at what else we can get going on here. Uh, that's pretty good. I'll lock that in too. So now we've got quite a few things locked in. I could obviously take these, but I really want to experiment with trying to let the, um, the, the fish hook gain some bonus curse on things. Because we do scale our damage based off curse as well. And cursed items give us more curse. So it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy with this character that we want to be trying to have as many things be cursed as we can. So that we can take advantage of that extra damage. And just all the extra stats and stuff I was mentioning too. Like that's another big thing. Kind of an interesting enemy here. This is this guy's very new. I've not seen him really before. There's a little bit of extra contact damage. You can see that the cursed enemies clearly have quite a bit more health. Attack speed, go with range damage again, some extra armor there, and there you go, we got another cast one, and this one's actually slightly higher than the other one, which is interesting to see. Um, I'm going to take this early on, do you know what, I'm just going to grab that rather than keeping it locked in, because I'm starting to feel the need for the extra damage. Um, I'm going to keep rolling here. There's another one of these. I'm going to take another one and leave it at that. I know that I've not got anything locked in at the moment, which is a bit of a waste, but... I do think that I, I am in desperate need of the damage this early on, especially with the amount of extra cursed enemies we're now getting. They weren't dying particularly quickly, and we need to make sure to keep our best interests at heart, which is life. 
Something that I do need, actually, um, looking at it right now, is it would be really, really nice to... Uh, ooh, this guy's a loot guy, maybe? Did he drop loot? Okay, yes, he does. And I think he increased my curse, actually. Um, we do need some extra maximum HP. Our maximum HP is pretty low right now. So I think this guy, yeah, these increase our curse when we kill them. I think that's what that is. I, can, I think I can actually have a look. Yes, that is what it is. Okay. So our curse is currently at 12. Um, so we've got a 9.7% chance of an enemy being cursed and a 2.9% chance of an item being cursed. Okay. Um, we'll go with the damage there. Range damage and attack speed, I think. Yes. Go with that. And we'll keep going. I'm going to start locking stuff in a little bit later. Get ourselves a baseline of damage first and then start locking stuff in. Because I think only, what is it, 28% chance to lock something in and it become cursed? It's not a really high chance, to be honest. It's not it's not crazy, so I can't really rely on a 1 in 4 chance. I've just got to kind of hope for the best. But you can see that our shredders at the minute, 50% chance to explode when hitting enemies is actually working pretty well for these AoE situations where there's a lot of enemies grouped up near each other. Okay, that's a guy that's got loot on him. There you go, you've got a chest from him. We can also get chests from these trees as well on occasion. Regularly, they're just going to drop the little healing fruits, but we can get chests that will give us free items on occasion, so we do want to be destroying the trees whenever we can. There's ways to get more trees as well. So our range is currently sitting at minus five. That's taking a bit of a toll. Um, go with the attack speed. I should have taken the max HP, really. Hey, we got this here, which is going to give us plus curse. It's kind of nice. I'll take the extra look. And, ooh... Items will if we have one T higher after the next reroll. Kind of interesting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we got we got a legendary minigun. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting that. So we'll definitely be locking that in. Um In fact, I'm gonna lock all of these in. This is unfortunately gonna take us quite a while to purchase all of them, so we are gonna have to go a few waves without buying anything. But um that a red minigun, especially if we can curse it, is incredibly good for us right now. That's super, super early on to find a red weapon. Red is like the highest tier this game can get. You can merge weapons together in order to upgrade their tier. So if we find extra shredders, we could merge them to increase their quality. I think it goes to from what it is now, which is basically no color or white, um, up to blue, then to purple, then to red. So getting all the way to red right off the bat. Expensive, but very, very nice for us. So it's only going to be maybe three waves, two waves until we can afford it. And in the meantime, everything else is going to hopefully become cursed. I'm hoping the minigun becomes cursed, because that will increase its damage by a lot. And we can have up to six weapons, so we do have a slot for it right now. Take that. Take some of the damage there. There you go, it has become cursed already, so it's upped its damage by quite a bit. This has also become cursed. We're at 283 now, so maybe one, maybe two more waves. I think it might, might probably be two, as long as we can stay alive for that long. Oopsie, took a pretty big hit at the start there. But you can see the leftover um, materials from the last stage become double materials on this stage as well, so it's not a bad idea to leave them behind, but I might as well pick them up if I can so I can use them in this shop immediately. Just delays the ability to spend. But you can see that we've, we need 414, I think it was. I don't think the price increase with it becoming cursed. We are going to get that by the end of this wave, and that is going to put us in a position of a lot, lot, lot higher damage. Because if you look now, we're dealing 14 damage per hit with these. The minigun deals 16 damage per bullet, and it fires bullets a lot, lot, lot faster. Two chests this stage as well is rather nice. Here we go. Good stuff. Uh, recycle that. Recycle that. I'll take the HP regen here. So we'll grab our minigun here. Beautiful. And we'll also grab this as well for extra range damage and attack speed. And then we'll keep this locked in and we'll lock that in as well. But this minigun's going to massively increase our firepower. In fact, so much so that I might get rid of my, um, my other weapons and try and find something better. Because this is going to carry us for a while. With our extra range damage, it's dealing 21 per hit, so it's enough to one-shot basically everything, and you can see how fast it's firing. Like, it might be try it might be good to try and get, like, a bunch of miniguns here, and the best way to do that is to get rid of my other weaponry, because otherwise we're going to keep finding more shredders. It's a bit of a risky gambit, but 
I think it's going to be a fun idea. Yeah, please do let me know what you think of this game and what you think of seeing it on the channel. I think this is a really good YouTube game as well. I think this is a, a good game to watch. I enjoy watching it. I've got a few different people that I follow that uh, I watch play it. Retromation, Alexa, um, Dangerously Funny plays it on occasion as well. There's a few other people here and there. Spiff. Right. Um, take the damage again here. So in this situation, we'll, we'll grab that. But I'm actually going to combine all of these um, and then recycle that one. I'm going to unlock that, actually. Take the uh, price reduction there. Projectile piercing is really good here for our minigun. Um, we'll take that as well. And I think we'll leave that there. Nothing I want to lock in there. Yeah, so now we've lowered our damage a little bit, but now we've got piercing, which overall will up our DPS output by a lot. Um, and now we've got less weaponry, which gives us more space for other weaponry, so I'm hoping we can get something great. But yeah, that, that fish item that gives us an increase in tier. I mean, we got lucky because we would have been getting a purple minigun anyways. We just upgraded it to a red tier minigun. Still, though, kind of crazy. Puts us on a good path for this whole run. I also really like the, this game as well, that if you're playing it um, normally, like, you don't need to use your mouse really much at all, apart from the shop. And then, like I said, I've got the auto battle mode, where you basically, you just choose your purchases, and then the game plays itself. And it may seem like that takes a lot of fun out of it, but it means it's a really, like, uber casual game if you have that on. You can just sit and watch something on your other screen while you just make a build. And it's kind of like a cool theory crafting kind of play style, where you just get to, like, see what you can build and see how far you can take it. We do need to definitely up our range, because our range is just terrible right now. I mean, there's some range there. I'll take it. Um, I'll take that. Take the extra curse there as well. Weapon damage additionally scales with 20% engineering. That's kind of an interesting idea. Ooh, we'll lock that in and try and get a, a cursed version of that. I'm going to lock that in and lock that in. Okay, we've got some things locked in now. Now we've just got to wait until they become cursed. I'm hoping we can find more fish hooks for increased chance to curse things. But as of right now, our, our biggest concern is just that we have pretty low maximum HP. But you can see that we're very clearly, like, storming through with damage. Damage is not even remotely a concern here. Especially now we've got more critical chance as well. That's going to be even higher damage output. I've just got to be a little wary about making sure I don't take any unfortunate damage, because two, three big hits could end me. Luckily, it's pretty hard for enemies to get those big hits on me at this stage, just due to the amount of damage we're putting out. But still, it's a genuine concern. And you can see that our low, low range isn't actually hindering us too much. Not ideal, but it's also not the worst. We've got a good amount of money here as well. There's an item called a piggy bank that lets you uh, basically accrue interest on the amount of money that you have if you save it between waves. It'd be really nice to grab that right about now. Um, armor is very nice here. Ooh, extra XP. Okay, so at the minute, we're going to lock in a lot of stuff. That's pretty nice there. I'll roll again and see if there's anything we want to lock in. Do you know what I'm going to lock that in? I'm just going to lock it lo loads of stuff in here and try and curse them all. I know that, that obviously lowers our chance for getting new cool stuff, but all of that's pretty good. So getting any of those cursed would be really, really nice. In fact, one of the, one of the items that might be quite good to get is, is well, I said one. There's a few items that do stuff while you're stood still, like bonus damage or bonus dodge, um, bonus fire rate. Bonus anything while we're stood still would not be bad at all with this setup because we can effectively stand still and dish out the damage from range. So I think that'd be a fun one. We're definitely looking to get another weapon soonish because this one is carrying us, but as you can see, things are getting a little bit overwhelming, so we definitely could do with a little bit more firepower. It's not to the point where we desperately need it, but when there's a massive group of enemies, it's definitely noticeable that they're overrunning us a little bit or potentially getting to the point where they could. It's especially when there's a lot of cursed enemies, that's really where it becomes most notable. Beautiful stuff. Plenty of money. Ooh, there you go. This is the fucking dude I was just on about. Um, this is really nice. Three armor, 100% chance to attract materials. 
Um, that's pretty nice. Attack speed's pretty good. There you go. We got a cursed version of that. I'm sure buy that rather than having it there. I want to try and get some weapons here. Hey, that's cursed as well. Lovely. That's very good. Rocket launcher, I'll lock that in and try and curse that as well. Not the highest tier, but explosive radius and like blast damage is going to be pretty effective for us here, so I don't mind that at all. But yeah, instantly attracting all materials. A legendary item that is very, very useful to us. Because now we la and now we can stand in one spot and not have to worry. We're always going to get the materials that are owed to us. We don't have to go around fishing for them. So getting some standstill bonuses here now would be very, very good. I mean, you can see that some waves have less enemies than others. We've not really got a horde going on here, so we're actually having an okay time of it. We definitely need to up our maximum HP, though. I'm noticing our maximum HP is pretty low. But it's going to be interesting having, like, a diff like a bunch of different weapons here. So we're going to get the rocket launcher in a second. Normally, I, I end up going with, like, six of the same weapon. So it's a bit weird to have, like, a bunch of different ones. But if it can happen, it's pretty good. Good, good, good. 500 again. I'll t I guess I'll take that, yeah. Um, crit chance, I'm going to take that. E, we finally got this cursed. Lovely. And this cursed as well. Still waiting on the Vigilant Ring here. Um, another bit of piercing is really nice here. Not much else there. Ooh. I guess I'll lock that in. Good stuff. Okay, we've got some new enemies appearing here. That seal seems new. But if we go to our stats here, let's take a look at our uh, crit chance. Crit chance is 17%. That's pretty good for the amount of uh, shots we're firing. And the rocket launch is going to be really good for when just a cluster of enemies spawn. Uh, that'll hopefully stave off some big crowds of weaker enemies, which is probably what I'd say is going to be the most likely to deal damage to us. The bigger enemies, we're able to focus down and kill pretty easily. I'm not too worried about those. It's the big boys that I'm worried about. The big boys are a challenge. You can see we're working our way through the waves pretty easily. We can take this to get increased health regen as well. You can see the our health regen is not great right now. Maybe getting some lifesteal will be quite good considering how much damage we're dealing. Lifesteal might be the way to go for... Uh, the best way to regen our health back up to full when we take damage. But right now we're relying on just not really taking damage. Excellent. We got another fish hook. That's brilliant to see. Max HP. I kind of need that. Hey, there you go. 5% at the start of a wave. Very, very nice. I should have taken that 20 range then. That was kind of silly not to take that. Ooh, that's very nice. i would definitely take that. Try and lock that in and increase the percent chance for that to occur. Killing an enemy, giving us, uh, like, healing HP seems like a very good way to go for us. Extra attack speed's going to be really good here as well with that rocket launcher. I mean, the minigun's obviously going to benefit too, but the rocket launcher does have particularly slow fire rate, so increasing that fire rate's going to be really, really nice. I really like the enemies on this new Abyss Depths area. It's really cool. And I'm liking some of these new enemies. The, the curse mechanic is particularly nice. I like it when, like, a... Uh, a DLC or like an add-on introduces a new core mechanic like that and it, it gets implemented in a, in a really interesting way. This just affects all runs and is a really cool way to, to build a run around. Obviously this character is more built around it than any other, but um, I think just as a general mechanic to introduce to the game, it's really cool. It adds a bit of extra risk reward. Extra materials, but harder to kill. Potentials for getting extra bonuses from items. Good item. Hey, we did get the bonus as well. 27% chance to heal one. That's really good. We're going to lock that in again. We got 38% pickup and harvesting there as well. Very nice. Eight armor when standing still. There you go. We'll lock those in as well. So now we take significantly less damage when we stand still. If we take a look at our armor here, 53%. Whereas if we're moving, it's down to 38. So we get another um, like... 50, like 10-15%, I don't know how, exactly how much that was, um, 
in terms of when we take damage. So, and you can see that the um, the healing on hit, the healing on kill thing is uh, proving to be massive for us. We can just kind of stay still and do a lot with that. We get that tree. I don't know what these things do. These little generator things. I don't want to find out. I'm guessing they birth something, maybe? Like, birth an enemy? Okay. These big guys are kind of annoying. Bit of extra care from those enemies. Lovely. A lot of extra care from those enemies. Nice. Yeah, a lot of these guys that are giving us bonus curse. A lot of them. Beautiful. Don't want that, thank you. XP gain, I'm definitely taking. Attack speed, we're definitely taking. Pickup radius. Pickup radius, I have just realized I actually don't need at all. But the knockback is nice, I suppose. It's not, not wasted, I suppose. Taking all this XP gain stuff, because do remember that this character is getting a minus to our XP gain constantly. So now our XP gain's actually gone pretty high up there. Um, yeah, I'll take that. The range doesn't really matter at this point. Um, okay, we'll leave that then. You can see we're still doing insane, insane damage with the setup. There is 20 waves, so at 20 is where we win. We can go endless and go a bit further if we want to, and we probably will if we make it that far. But so far, so good. Um, I would definitely like to get a few more weapons in the mix before we reach wave 20, just to make sure we've got enough firepower for the boss. It would also be very nice uh, to get some more maximum HP. I'd like to get up to about 60 or 70 before the boss, but... I don't know how possible that is, but you can see the knockback that we've gained is actually super useful with the higher higher attack speed of the minigun. We're pushing enemies back very, very quickly. Stay out of the way of all that. So we took a lot of damage there, but the amount of healing we get off of killing things is insane. Like that one item has saved us in terms of our uh, survivability. The problem is the bosses can sometimes do like 30 damage in one hit, which means that we'd be at a significant disadvantage. Um, could offset some of that range down, take the max HP, take the damage. Um, yeah, I guess we'll take that. Not super crazy good, but... Come on, game, give me a better weapon. Hey, there's another fish hook. I could, I could try and, like, lock that in for later, but I'm just gonna take it for now. Ball and chain. Weapons have a minimum cooldown between attacks. Well, that's terrible for us. So that, 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 that's no use with a minigun. That would make the minigun significantly worse. At least I imagine so. so that 30% damage would not help at all. I think, when, I think we're pretty much ready. We've managed to make our way up to 50 maximum HP, though. I said that 60, 70 is where I want to be at. So we've got two more waves to get there. End of this one, end of the next one. So it's definitely plausible. And I think our damage, despite only having three weapons, I think our damage is in a really good spot. Managed to build it up to a very good place. What attack speed are we on now? Our attack speed 73%. That's a hell of a lot. Our minigun is firing... Oh my god. It's firing uh, twice every 0 0.1 seconds. <laughs> firing 20 times a second. That's crazy. I do apologize about clearing my throat here. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I'm still a little ill. I'll try to pause when I can, but we're mid-wave here, so I didn't want to pause. Okay. Lifesteal, we're saying, would be good. Material, when we killed a cursed enemy, that's pretty good. We'll go with that. We will lock that in. We will take that as well. I'll lock that in and try and curse those. Extra materials when we kill a, a cursed enemy sounds like a really, really good way to build up our materials fast with the amount of cursed enemies. We're at 125 cursed. Our enemies have a 35% chance to be cursed. So getting extra materials off that it seems like it'll play out pretty well for us. The good thing is about this game as well, you can stack multiple of the same item, as we've seen with the fish hook. So we might be able to get quite a lot of those going. Getting a bunch of different ones that increase our materials for cast enemies. Yeah, I mean, you can see just how much more materials we've gained this wave for already. 
We were gaining like 350 per wave before, 400. And we're already on 600 and this wave isn't even nearly over yet. This is a hell of a lot more. I like it. I, just, I just don't think I've ever had this much damage from so early on before. <laughs> yeah, we're up to 800 and th 930 mental. Speed is actually really nice here. Nullify two hits is really good. 10% crit chance is really nice here. Ooh. Your highest curse and lowest lifesteal positive primary stats are swapped when you get this item. So... Hmm... That would lower our curse significantly, but it would up our lifesteal by a ton. I'm gonna try that out, you know. Yeah. Your attacks have a 129% chance to heal you for 1 HP, max 10 per second. That's crazy. Obviously, our curse is now tiny, but that lifesteal is insane. Like, absolutely insane. Like, if we take damage, we just basically heal back to full not like, so quick. Yeah. <laughs> I was saying lifesteal would be good with this amount of fire rate, and it very much is. We are nearly unkillable now. Just heal back to full, like, very, very fast. This is our big bad boss. Once we kill him, we win. So we've definitely won this one, but we'll, we'll keep going on Endless and see how far we can take this, I guess. Although Endless does get pretty crazy pretty fast. Already. There you go. We do get a legendary for killing this guy as well. One of these red chests here. Now we just gotta finish out the wave. We do need to rebuild our curse now. If we want to get cursed enemies and so on. Which, not having cursed enemies is gonna massively decrease our income. As we saw last time, it, that, that was definitely making a big impact on our income. And also, actually, notably, a massive, massive decline in our damage. We were gaining 35% of our curse in damage, so we've Taking a hit of about 40% damage, I think. You can kind of notice it here with these enemies. They're not going down anywhere near as quick as normal. We are going to have to rebuild our curse pretty quickly if we want to get anywhere, but... I don't think it's that big of a problem. Like, survivability-wise, it's definitely not a problem. 50% chance to explode 70% damage when you get hit. Oh, there you go. So we 10 curse there. Um, extra speed I'll take. Lifesteal I don't need. I'll take the armor. Take that. Lock that in. Take that. Take that. Take that. Okay. Now we still have the, the same chance of an, of an item becoming cursed upon, um... Upon us locking it in the shop, so that's that that hasn't changed at all. It's just our chance for cast enemies that's changed, chance for cast items that's changed. And locking them in the shop will still be just as effective. I've not got. I, it would be nice to have higher max HP to take advantage of this um, life steal even more. But as you can see, at the minute, it's still doing a mighty good job. I can kind of just walk around pretty freely. And I am getting maximum HP from eating fruits. That stomach did that up to a maximum of 8 per wave, I think it was. So getting our maximum HP up isn't a super big chore, really. We've got this little garden as well. It'd be nice to have more of those gardens about. Get even more of this, this healing going on. We've got up to 8, 80 HP. Range damage, there you go. And we cast both of these, very nice. We'll lock that in as well. Honestly, let's lock that in too. Get a cast version of that would not be a bad idea. That would make us have a red shredder instead. It's making it this far though on three weapons is, uh, is pretty good. Not what I would have expected. We do have to be at maximum HP though to gain... Uh, Full benefit out of the fruits, giving us uh, bonus max HP. But luckily, being at max HP is not that hard for us. <laughs> so I do believe we'll start coming across mini bosses and stuff more and more. There you 
go. Two nullified hits um, on every wave is really nice as well here. That's clearly providing quite a big benefit. Okay, so I think we're at the maximum amount of uh, HP gained here. I think it's eight per wave, and we've gained nine this wave. Eight from the item and one from leveling up, I think. But eight per wave is still pretty goddamn good. Take that, take that. We did manage to curse this, and we cursed that as well. The Silver Bullet is a very good one to curse. So I think we can combine these two, and then there you go. Beautiful stuff. Okay. Those then two cancel each other out. That's kind of nice. Ooh, that's good to lock in, because we can curse it and merge it with this. Actually, I don't know. Does having both of them cursed matter? I don't know. I'm really not too sure. We're about to get up to 100 HP here. Puts our life steal in an even better position. Come on, fruit. Where you at? Spawn for me. There you go. There you go. 101 HP now. Good to have. And yeah, we're at wave 23 already. I reckon we're going to make it to about 32. Nah, I don't know. It's hard to say because the bosses can really destroy you. It's really hard to say how much we're going to get past the bosses. But there'll be one wave coming up soon, probably 25, where there's two bosses at once. That's going to be a test. And we're, we're at 49 cares, though. We've managed to rebuild it reasonably well. And clearly tell our damage is higher. What'd be good is to get Ricochet, but it's bouncing. Um, yeah. Go with extra speed. So let's merge those together. Don't care about that dodge. Ooh, 30% damage. Minus 3 attack speed for every different weapon you have. So we do have quite a few different weapons. But the attack speed isn't that bad for that bad of a loss for us. So I don't really mind that. I'm going to lock all of those in. Having the extra armor when standing still isn't as relevant anymore. But on occasion it will be. Because standing still, we can probably heal more than we take damage. Especially when we've got like all the bonus armor going on. Another bonus 8 on top of the 8 we already get when standing still will be a lot. And yeah, obviously just cursing items as well gives us more curse, which gives us more damage in turn, so worth doing. Oh my god. Deal over a thousand damage to a single enemy. Some beefy boys in this stage. I think that guy just generates enemies, that little sort of machine looking thing. Beautiful. Max HP's coming in. There you go. Attack speed, lovely. Take that. We'll take that. These two I want to keep locked in. I'll take that. What's my harvesting at the minute? Harvesting's at 45, nice. Okay, so is this big boy wave or not? I'm not seeing any bosses so far, so I don't think it is. Maybe it's 30 that we end up seeing the double bosses. Yeah, you can clearly tell this build can take us the distance right now. I can't believe that curse item we got for 129 lifesteal. Considering our lifesteal was at 1 as well, and our curse was over 100. What a trade. A little risky on a character that's built off of Curse, but I thought it would be good, and it clearly has been. The amount of healing we've got from killing enemies plus the healing we get from Lifesteal is uh, kind of absurd right now. I'm able to just kind of run around pretty freely and not worry too much about the damage I'm taking. It gets pretty much instantly healed back up. I just need a little bit more AoE is what I need. The, da the damage is uh, clearly, clearly enough, like we're doing enough to get by. We're not earning at that much per stage, though, at the moment, I will say. Hey, they both cursed. Lovely. Um, 5% critical strike chance. Weapon damage additionally scales to 10%. Ooh, that's kind of an interesting idea. I don't think I need that, though. Plus 20% dodge while standing still is kind of an interesting one, too. 
Let's lock that in and try and see what we can do with that. But yeah, surprised to not be seeing like a bunch of mini bosses and stuff. I thought we would be by now. What curse are we on now? 70. So we're still not quite at 129 as we were before. But we're getting there. We're getting there. It's not too far off. You can clearly see that we're doing enough damage to get by. We're killing stuff reasonably quickly. We've got... What crit chance are we on now as well? We're on 37% crit chance. You can see that that's coming in handy. They're, they're the uh, yellow numbers that we're seeing. We're seeing quite a lot of yellow numbers. And we're doing over a thousand damage on some of these hits with a rocket launcher as well, I think. I mean, it being cursed and a purple version of it is uh, clearly proving to be quite strong. I'm having a lot of fun though, this. It's, it's, it's a good time. It's a really fun game and a fun DLC. Fun addition to the game. I'm really glad that this uh, this game popped off as well as it did, because uh, I'd actually been working with and following the developer um, through since their first game that they popped. See, I, well, I don't know if it's their first game, but the first bigger game, which was Space Gladiators, which was a another roguelike of a different kind, more of a traditional roguelike. Um, and I, I helped with a few of the a few of the specifics of that game. Every range weapons, fifth projectile. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. Um, That's pretty good, right? Um, yeah, I, I helped with some of the, like, testing of that game. I definitely didn't build any of it, but I helped with some of the ideas and some of the testing for a few things here and there towards the end of the game's um, life cycle. I won't say life cycle, but towards the end of uh, Early Access, I helped with a few things, which I'm really proud of. And I, it, it, the game didn't quite get the light it should have gotten, considering the amount of effort that was put into it. I really wish people had uh, shined more of a light on it, because it, it was and still is a very, very fun game. Um... And uh, this, this game, very similar, but a much more simplified idea uh, based off the popularity of Vampire Survivors. And it just absolutely popped off. And I'm so happy for the developer, Blobfish, that it did. It's a really, really fun game and a lot of effort's clearly been put into it. You can see that now the amount of damage that we're taking from projectiles is uh, kind of outweighing the amount that we heal. So we do have to be a little careful. It's not crazy, but... We are now, t if we t get hit by multiple projectiles in a row, we're not out healing it anymore. So we can't just be willy-nilly about everything anymore. Extra crit chance, very nice. Uh, crystal. 9% attack speed, 2% attack speed every 1 second until the end of the wave. Bonus loss when taking damage. Pretty good. That could be kind of good. I'm going to lock that in. Because the one damage per second just doesn't matter to us at all. Like it's really not going to make any difference. I did say I thought we'd get to 31, 32. I'm still thinking that could be possible. Depends how the boss goes on wave 30 if there is one. I'm pretty sure there will be. I think that'll go. That, that might go badly. You can see how much damage we're taking from these projectiles now. It's kind of nutty. This is very much... Uh, We've got to the point where we're trying to avoid everything now. And also, now that every enemy's cursed as well, we are earning more, but things are much, much harder to kill. I'm very glad that we have this thing to attract all the uh, materials, because otherwise it'd be kind of a hard job keeping track of everything and trying to pick them all up. <sighs> My goodness, how are we alive still? Holy! That was sketchy. Give me something defensive. I'll lock that in. Right, this'll probably be the wave where we die. Maybe, if we can survive this one, it'll be next wave. We got a damn lot of harvesting though, I'll say that. Our harvesting was 135 per wave, which is very good. But yeah, very, very spooked now because the enemies are taking a significant more beating before they die. I think our minigun has finally gotten to the point where it's fallen off a little bit. It's kind of mad to think it lasted this long. Only having three weapons is clearly now uh, not quite cashing the checks that it's uh, putting down. But you can see, we're, we're, we're somewhat managing. It's the it's the strike lines attacks. Those lines are uh, deadly, man. 
Unfortunately, I'd like to test my theory of standing still, but I don't know if that's the best idea anymore. Beautiful stuff. Tons of material. What's that dodge yet? Yeah, I'll take that. Why not? Finally, we'll take another weapon here, and we got another minigun as well. I'll take another minigun. Um, Plank doesn't really do it for me. Another projectile piercing is pretty good. We'll lock that in. Okay, so here's our double boss wave. Oh, this is triple boss. Okay. But yeah, what I was saying, I think I might die. Definitely stand by that statement. Although I think this is three mini bosses, not three full bosses, which helps. Oh my god, I almost died there. Yep, I'm dead. Okay. But there you go, we won a run as creature. We made it to wave 30, which was around about my prediction. I was hoping we were able to beat 30 itself, but you can see how crazy it gets. And look at just how many cursed items we had here. That was some really fun stuff. I really like the curse mechanic. And yeah, please do let me know if you guys want to see more of this. I would love, love to play more of this on the channel. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.